Hi, everybody. Welcome back to some Stellaris as Pat adjusts his chair. Uh, oh, well, well, thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. So, uh, there's been... Okay, so I watched my own videos back, uh, and I decided on a couple of changes here. Uh, first off, uh, we're moving Pat from the LP. Woo! <laughs> no, no. Uh, oh, I'm, first of all, I'm, re I'm getting communications from Best on Stellar Hierarchy. Okay, I don't know if I met these guys before we quit. But yeah, uh, you watched the Walk of Path with... Well, actually, I can look at it over here. So I, I think I've been doing a fairly poor job at tutorializing this game, which I said I would do. So I'm going to do a better job now. Um, so you can see that there is uh, he's a authoritarian, and he's a uh, materialist. And we get a couple of options here based upon our own ethos. Um, I think the way it works is if you choose one that is closest to their ethos, you get not as much of a, a, a trust penalty between you two. So uh, I'll show you what happens here. So basically, with these guys, I have really no options here that they would be probably really nice, that we'd cooperate on. So I also did Blasphemous or Burn, Xeno Heretics. And is this him right here? Yeah, it's the same guy. So if we actually look at our, our initial trust, um, yeah, there we got no b bonuses or penalties to it. But they do see us as xenophobic bigots. So, and we're spiritualist fools, and uh, it's the same same authority, which I'm not sure what that means. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, so, as I said, I'll do a better job at at it right now. Um, and if I explain anything again, I apologize very deeply. Uh, I know I explained kind of what a Gaia world was. I didn't really go through what sectors were about. Uh, I just kind of made them, and then you guys kind of dealt with it. So, I'll go over kind of like why. Uh, hey, Pat. Hello. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good over here, Mike. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm like ready to declare war on some motherfuckers. So I'm just looking at this like Mecco Nas stellar sovereignty over here that's now broken up into like two pieces for some reason. Uh. And I wanted to eat him. Mechonos. Yeah, the sky that's like right oh, next yeah, to both yeah. of us. This is who we're fighting over, and we completely misunderstood each other. We're like a married couple. Exactly. Uh, apparently, there's actually some debris there. Did I have a sign ship on that? By the way, as far as I know, no matter what option you select, it doesn't matter. Um, I, you know, I know it does do something. What the hell? Why can't I go to your system? What the hell? Are we not friends? Or, no, we're friends. For some reason I can't make it to your- oh, because I'd have to go through the alien menace system. Oh, uh, okay, so I'm gonna tell this guy, do whatever you want then, and go go research these. Because the, the, the science ship would have to go through this system, he can't avoid it. Um, yeah, because no matter what, if you look at the routes, you'd have to go through it. This is the another downside of uh, hyper, uh, hyper lanes. Uh, okay, so anyways... Um, so about the sector I created. So the way the sectors work is that so they had a they have a, a mechanic in this game called uh, directly controlled colonized systems. So they're core worlds. Um, I have four out of five of them, so you can see them all here: Gaia, Energy, Minerals, and Yoshi's Island. You've seen me make these uh, all so far. What's this naval base thing? Oh, actually, you know what? This guy can do go do that. I, I didn't even realize. That. I'm just I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting re reassociated into the game I was playing. So there's like apparently some shit I was missing. And I don't even know why. Oh, this is a part of the precursor shit. All right, that's besides the point. Anyways, back on uh, what the what the core systems and uh, sectors are about. So sectors. Um, so they wanted to have a way in the game to make it so that you didn't have to like micromanage like forty different planets. And so the way they do that is they kind of force you into it because there is it is a downside to use the sector system because you don't get as much out of it and you don't get fine tuned control. But the benefit is you don't have to manage it yourself. So if we look at like, um, so uh, you saw that I made a sector through the, the, the little menu here. So yeah, I just chose a bunch of worlds here and then there you go. So the way it works is this is what the guy's producing and he, he will keep as, uh, uh, well, he'll keep right now because of sector contribution. I have it to minimum. He'll keep a hundred percent of everything he does in the sector. Uh, when I set it to this, uh, which is 75%, like you can obviously fine tune it between every, anything but a hundred percent. Uh, you see he has this little, little mineral stockpile, an energy stockpile. Anyway, so if for whatever reason I'm, I'm eating all his um, resources, then uh, 
I can give him some as well, but that, that's that's the problem is that I don't take 100%, but it's only affected by miner, uh, minerals and energy credits. The food is global and I cannot take the food away. The science is global and given to me automatically. And influence is just uh, I'm just given to me too because he has no use for it. He doesn't. This guy doesn't use it at all. So you have to have you have to have some kind of governor assigned, and he just governs all the planets and just builds stuff. So this one, if I hover over here, I'll tell me what he's thinking of building. And he said he's uh, planning on constructing a planetary capital, and uh, yeah, things like that. And so he'll only do it if he has the resources to, and so I can just allocate a bunch to him. And then now he has a thousand, so he can do a lot more with them. Uh, sector settings allows you to fine tune stuff like do you want them to be able to colonize? Do would you like to allow them to change buildings, redevelop the buildings? Uh, do you want them to respect the tower resources? So what you can do is you can set a focus. I originally set it to research focus, uh, and you can set it to a lot of things. It really actually shouldn't be research focus because the thing I realized after I had already done it is I made them into what was it called? Uh, I can't change their I can't change their their slavery type right now. But they're right now battle thralls, and so I kind of read it here, and I said, "Oh, it's a lesser penalty to energy and production, and excellent soldiers for armies." They're still not good at researching, so to be honest, I just want to get rid of them. And Pat's actually pretty good at that, but I don't know if I want to give him the planets. Actually, maybe I should. Maybe just so that I can eat them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Actually, is there a way for me to? No, I can't just give them to your planet or whatever. So I think the plan at this point is. I want to displace these guys, these people, and I want to keep one race around to, for domestic servitude, actually. <laughs> uh, no. Where was it? Yeah, there's a slavery type. There's a domestic servitude, slavery type. And so that, and so I was thinking one of the new plants that we capture, maybe I'll use them as the dis domestic servitude race. Um, I mean, this guy's, actually, this guy's amazing. Maybe, maybe this fucking frog race I'll use, because they're, they're really good at minerals. Do you have frogs? All I've got is shitty butterflies. Well, fucking dead, but that makes them tasty, doesn't it? So, I'm not sure what to do, because the way the way this works is that you can't change it for like 10 years. Uh, I apparently can set the pops to undesirables, but I think I might actually get a penalty for doing so. But I would like to purge them. Let me see, can I, uh, can I... Can I resettle some people around? Yes, I can. So I would like to bring my own guys over here so that they repopulate and all the rest of them can go fuck themselves. I think. You you're you're too nice to your people, Mike. I know. We're, but that's what, how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna just move some people around. So one at least one Yosha on every island, and we're gonna see if we can just fucking smoke them. Uh, unfortunately this guy is migrating. Yeah, no, you get to fucking live here, asshole. Alright. Um, I'm going to have to forcibly construct some buildings, I think, but I think in the time for the time being we're actually pretty good. So I'm just gonna leave it to my little friend there to basically manage all the I'm just checking all the plans to make sure I did get them all. Yeah, uh, not this one actually. Yeah, let's move one more guy. Okay. So I, I am going to continue the research focus because the thing with sectors is that it's better to have a research focus because of the fact that you get 100% of it and there's no, like, he can't have a stockpile of minerals that he's not giving you. Uh, and that's the reason, that's my justification for doing what I'm going to do now. So as soon as me and Pat kill these three-eyed fuckers, uh, which is, I don't know what they're good at. They're really good at nothing, to be honest, but whatever. I, I, I think I actually, I, I think I don't want to kill the fucking... Sorry, Pat, I'm just, I'm debating right now what race to kill, so... No, it's alright, this is a very <laughs> important thing. You've got to figure out which ones you're going to subjugate to yes. the fucking matriarchy. The matriarchy. <laughs> no, there's Yoshi's, Pat, come on. Oh, hold on. The Yoshiarchy. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the... Actually, I think it's all frog people. I think. Where I, the I, fuck did you get frog people? I, th no, they're the people. No, these are the guys that we took over before. Yeah, they're fucking right now battle thralls. All right, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna set them All to the under, rich Ethy. All right, so they're. Uh, <laughs> so Pat, what kind of purge type do we want? We want extermination, <laughs> neutering. Uh, they will die over, out over time, but only g gain a moderate happiness penalty. Displacement. They're expelled from a nation over time and left to find refuge. 
There's forced labor. They're, they are worked to death and can be used to produce minerals and food. Or should I just make food, Pat? I don't Honestly, if you're just gonna make food, you might as well just send them my way. Yeah, I think I'll just put the I'll just work them to death as forced labor. That's sad. Yeah, they're they're actually really not happy about that. Are you surprised? Well, actually, no. They have a lot of ha happiness uh, penalties right now. It's adding unrest, which means on this planet, yeah, we have some defense armies, so we should actually be okay. Uh, but yeah, so they're gonna be just uh, they're gonna die. Let's just go with that. Let's put this guy. You see right here purging. Oh, what the hell? Oh, let's let's just play it for a second. Yeah, now it sets it all to to nothing. So I'm gonna take these reptilian dudes and I'm gonna fucking make them as soon as the ten year ro rolls around. I'm gonna make them into um, cast system. They will be automatically enslaved while only producing food or minerals. Other pops are free but may not engage politically. Uh, what's What's the difference between caste and, and slaves? Caste system and slaves. Um, slaves is like, uh... Oh, I'm not like even what happened to the black people in America, and a caste system is what India does. Oh, okay. Where you have, like, the untouchables and whatnot. Well, I... I can't make them caste, because apparently I'm not... I thought I was authoritarian. No, I made myself spiritualist xenophobe. Oh, does that mean, I'm uh... militarist. Yeah, does that mean I can't even, uh... Sorry, I just need to look into this. Can I not even make them domestic servitude? No, I, I can't make them domestic servitude. Okay, that, that that's fine then. You know what? It works. All right, Pat, I'm ready to start finally. Oh my God! Fucking finally! Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, let's make uh, cruisers go. Yeah, let's make cruisers. Remember, come. you have that one planet way out there to the fucking right. Don't forget about it. No, no, I, that, I, I literally, as you said, uh, as we started, I was looking at it and I was like, okay, what what can I do with that now? We're going to just make all the mining stations and research stations possible. Uh, what's this guy doing? Research that. Survey that. And we have it on normal speed. We need to kick that up a notch. Alright, what's this, uh, this guy doing? He's doing nothing. Unfortunately, for him to make anything over there, it's going to be halfway across the fucking galaxy. Am I truly the greatest? It is. It is the worst. All right. Um, I think the it's grand the greatest, you idiot. I think the grand railgun fleet is uh, ready to go and uh, kick some butt. What do you think? What do you think? You want? Do we want to kill these two guys? Oh yeah, dude, totally. So like, I, I am all on board. Okay, the question is though. Research complete. Do you want me to eat them, or what do you want me to? Do? What do you want to do with these guys? <laughs> wait, wait, one second. I just got the best research, and also uh, uh, after continued studies of skeletal remains. Uh, they conclude as the uh, oh, there's an organic starship for unknown, unknown reasons. This is one of the research projects I was doing. It suffered a catastrophic damage. It crash landed on ha Halix Five uh, One. It's this guy. Uh, so it, it, Halix One gets a bit of a bonus. Uh, I don't know if you guys actually care about what they were doing. Okay, so Pat, here's a here's the here's a question. Do should I research Blorg body pillows? Oh, uh, dude, you should totally fucking research Blorg body pillows. <laughs> You get uh, you get not just that, but you get drugs. Yeah, we get drugs, or we get terraforming, or we get yeah. That's the, that's pretty much these two. I'm gonna do fucking. We gotta get blurred body pillows. All right. So what's the, what's your question? Sorry about that. All right. With the let's just say we're gonna take out the the both of them, right? Do you want their planets for you to purge and enslave them, or do you want me to just eat them so that way you can just do whatever you want with their planets? Because they are a continental focused people. Uh, maybe I'll eat them. I don't know. I I'm allowed maybe. to do. I'm allowed to do that. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. I mean, then yeah, we'll totally pop them on over to you for that sweet bonus. One second. Conc the conclave of faith and values. Having spiritual values reflected all levels of government will please the conclave of faith and values. Apparently, I don't have that. Uh. And I'm pretty sure it's it's this stuff over here. It's a civic. Uh oh. The people I took over are rebelling. It's a good thing I put, put armies everywhere. <laughs> That's you, System Pat, thinking ahead. Complete. Truly the greatest. I'm just gonna turn up the volume just slightly because system survey complete is not loud enough. Although, it could be just, just loud enough. Alright, we still haven't used the ship designer at all, but we won't bother with that just yet. 
That's okay, we don't need that. Uh, what's this one? Synchronized defenses. I'm looking at... Yeah, I did have destroyer assembly yards. Just for the record, I'm still mad at you. Oh, uh, what, did, what did I do wrong? You took... Okay, your border extrusion yeah. actually split up my sector system because you took Xyamon. Okay. And that fucked me up. Because now I have a disconnected sector system, and that is giving me negative 25% to everything. Pat, I my my heart bleeds for you, Pat. God damn you. What does the hive mind say? The hive mind says, suck our collective dicks. <laughs> Alright, let me do some uh, building upgrades. Oh, what, what's this one? The Frontier Clinic can be upgraded into a Frontier Hospital, so even Special better for this time. Complete. And, oh right, I also did all the tile clearing stuff, so that's going to be easy to do. So, normally, I now the problem is, I don't remember what the, oh yeah, so you guys, I, actually you guys saw my fucking naming system. It's Energy Minerals, and then I have a Gaia World here. Oh yeah, we did fucking Alien Pets. I thought we did Alien Pets. Oh, uh, Xenozy requires planetary administration on the planet, which needs now five more people. Ripping pieces. Well, I guess I'll just uh, clear all this stuff. And, uh... I don't know what to do with this guy. It's a new anomaly on Baznok 1. So, Pat, why don't you go and uh, declare war? Because I'm lazy. Okay, what, what, what did we decide? I... What were we deciding? I don't even know. Are, are, am I going to eat them? Are you going to eat them? Or are we going to just Fuck. play with our food here? Okay, let me eat like the one above and you eat the one beside you or something. I don't know. Okay. Is that, what planet is that kind? It's continental. They're, they're all continental. Yeah, con I am continental preference though. So or, we'll, like, see, we'll seed them to you, right? Yeah, I guess I'll just eat them or whatever. I'm actually debating. I don't think I need that many planets though. Actually, no, I was going to add it to the sector, of course. That's what I was fighting with you about. So, yeah. Yeah, give it to me, man. Oh, my God. You need to make up your fucking mind. I, I, I can only apologize so much. Yeah, just seed them to me, then. You can eat, like, the fucking other guy. I don't care about that guy. I'll eat somebody at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> you, I, you will... I, I sent a war thing to you, by the way. You sent a war thing to me? Okay. You just want to seed one planet, or are you retarded? He only has one planet. What? There's two groups. One has two oh. planets, one has oh, one okay. planet. Alright, the Grand Railgun is now on its way. You're only All seeding right. one planet, why? <laughs> Pat, I, I don't sound like that, uh, you know. Oh, hold on. You're only seeding <laughs> one planet, why? Why, yeah, is that better? Pat? Yeah, I don't know. That's that's much. I couldn't even tell. Nobody can tell the difference between us. You can't do that again. You could literally say anything, Pat, and they'll think it's me. Oh, okay. I thought I thought I sounded like a fucking like Goron or like super beefy anime character there for a minute, but I'm super, glad I sounded like you. A super beefy anime complete. character. Yeah, like All right. Brock. So here's the next goal for us guys. We're gonna try and connect these two things just so this guy can't exp uh, expand any more downward. Although I don't know if that really matters to us at the same time because we're what 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 policies was it going for? Oh, I already got expansion. Yeah, so Frontier Outpost is definitely something we can do. Anyways, we don't want this guy to go any further down. So you know, kind of like we're gonna do the Picard thing. The line must be drawn here, kind of shit. So we're gonna work on that a little bit now. Uh, that's pretty much after we kill this guy though. Uh, who the hell is who the hell is this guy? Oh, who cares? Think... He broke his he broke his pact off with a guy that's about to die. No, no, that's the guy. That's the guy next to him. These two assholes. Or no, it's not. No, it's not. It's the Miko Nas. Oh well, okay. He's about to die though. What the hell, Pat? Why fucking you made a faction? The Financial Development Committee. I did. Yes, you did. You fuck. What did you want? I made fuck. a faction. Yeah, fucking General Paticus Roth. Oh. Keep, keep the peace. What the fuck? You don't want warfare? What kind of general are you? You're like wow, the worst fucking kind of general, general ever. Am I? Holy crap! All right, so we're gonna suppress this faction. Uh, this is the management of this uh, stuff. So you can either in, uh, you can either in, in, embrace their values.
Alright, I'm waiting for you in the Mykonos Goldra, by the way. I just yeah. I'm throwing that out there. One of my plants is suffering from more rust, one second. It's one of the ones where I'm systematically purging all the all the populace. Uh, populace. How do I prevent them from fucking? Okay, here we go. We have a militarist spiritualist guy. So we how do choose... I prevent them from fucking? One second. We choose the one here. Let me pause this for a second so everyone can see. We choose the militarist spiritualist option here. Uh, and so where's the guy we just met? Right up here. All right. Uh, wow, he's inferior as hell. But it should say why spiritualist. Okay, I guess it really doesn't matter. I think it's just flavor. I think it is flavor actually. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I thought you got a bonus. That's what I read somewhere. Are you killing him yet? Uh, no, he's got actually a fairly strong little. Uh, I'm just going straight for there. I'm just heading straight for a starport. I'm one jump away, so you go deal with it. So, anyways, um, so I just suppressed the faction that Pat made because Pat's a fucking idiot. Um, because he wants me to not go to war for some reason, even though he's a general. So by suppressing the faction, I am essentially making it so less. Since they're, um, it's less attractive for other people to join it, but it's costing me now one influence per turn to suppress them. Yeah, pacif pacifism suppressed. One. Negative one. And the reason why there's even pacifists to begin with is of, it's because of ethics divergence, which is, I, I mentioned that that would be, come into a play later in the game. So it's, it's costing me, essentially, to have to deal with that. Ethics so, divergence doesn't matter for me, though, because... My people all share one brain. You cannot diverge from one brain. Pretty much, yeah. However, he doesn't get the influence bonuses that I am getting, you see, from all these other ones, too. Like the Yoshi Supremacist Party, apparently. Uh, yeah, they want, or they want our Euler... Um, Did you pause the game? Our... No, I didn't. I, I guess it's lag. Oh, oh, you are lagging like crazy. Okay. Am I lagging? Whatever, it's fine. You Here. you just drop like three thousand two hundred and twenty packets. Holy God! Okay, found. it's my internet shit. What can I do? Yay, Canada! I'm I'm like fucking destroying all his science ships right now. Yeah, you go destroy that. Oh I'm my! Gonna... What is this slaughter? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this slaughter? Dude, this is like some Hitler shit. If I'm going down, my scientists are going down with me. We ain't having no boys in Brazil they, they, what, shit. They, they keep coming back in because I think they keep they keep jumping away, but then they come back to... They, there's only they one place to they can come, come back. back here. There's nowhere else for them to go. Dude, that's the funniest shit ever, actually. Oh, my God. I, I forgot. Did you give me this planet or what? Yeah, this is something that we're going to see to you. Okay. You can you can eat some of the other guys. It's fine. Here, I'll let you I'll let you bombard it since you've got a little bit of a stronger military. I also have a uh, full full ground thing. Apparently, something I could have done is if I go super xenophobic and uh, and so one point into warf uh, into like uh, what's the what's it called? Uh, mil militarist. Yeah. Apparently, you automatically purge every every single xeno that you on every planet, and you get a new bombing stance, which is uh, Armageddon. That actually sounds amazing. I read it after, but still, I, I want to have psionics just because I like the psionic tech tree and stuff. I like how they have a free at last modifier on them. Oh yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. Enemy well, they're, secured. They're, well, they're already toast. Alright, peace at last, Pat. So this is mine? Yes it is. Alright. So let's see. So now we go into the sector management here. Where is it? Manage sector. I cannot actually add it yet. We have to kill the other guy first. Because the way it... it I'm not sure exactly how it connects. I guess it has to connect weirdly like here. So. Situation log up. Oh well. Alright. Let's go oppress these guys then. Oh. And we got a... Uh, passing straight through... A micro singularity is on that planet. Okay, it's just it's adding random bonuses because of the, all those uh, all things I'm doing. All right, you want to kill the you want to kill the next guy? Let me just close the sector management thing. Yeah, fuck this guy. This guy. Okay, I'm pur I'm purging the shit out of this guy. All right. Tile blocker. You're you're purging. Would you dude, say it's a purge planet? Uh, or did dude, I already process... make that joke? I'm pretty sure I made that joke already. I, I decided to process him actually. I'm 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 right now. I'm you right now. Oh. So, so right now we're 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 actually eating them right now. 
Look, they provide five to food per tile. Look at all this food we're getting. You know what? In fact, uh, on, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? Food st stockpiling? We're going to put it to balanced. Now we have a thousand food. Something that Pat will never do. All right, you want to kill these guys? Next. Yeah, the uh, great you... guys? Yeah, I'm going to seed their planets for myself. All right, make sure you invite me as an attacker. All right, invite Pat. There you go. Construction complete. We have to All right. Yes. I'm gonna go after Hiamit. You go after the other one. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Cause oh yeah, you saw the hyper lanes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, right. yes, I did, Mike. One second, my science ships are like all doing nothing right now. How fast are you gonna switch to warp drives once you get it? Uh, pretty fast actually. Like, I don't think I don't think you know how fast I'm gonna switch to warp drives, in the slightest second. Okay, so let's go make our first uh, Frontera post over here that I said I was going to make. And mining stations, research stations. Now let's see what our fleet's doing. We need to get our transport fleet to, jo to join in the fun. Yeah, I think this guy's toast. Dorpo's communi communion. Okay. What a guy. Dorpo's communion. Alien spaceport in the fuck? I don't, I'm just saying what the name of it was. All right, let's move. Uh, let's move one of our pops over here. Just so when when they, we're done purging him, we still will actually keep the planet, which is pretty important to us. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to. Why is this guy having so much problems? Max happiness is stuck to low, but that's fine. Oh, we met someone new. Oh God, they're ugly. Keep out of the way, fuckers. Dude, those guys are like super ugly. The poor construction ships and shit. I, I I'm gonna actually set these guys to stop uh, being so aggressive. Oh my god, I can't I can't stop them. <laughs> All right, can you guys no? Get bad, bad. Go get out of there. All right, all right. I'm telling them not to be aggressive anymore. I set their stance to be neutral or whatever the fuck. All right, let's on this planet real quick before I change my mind. Let's uh. Let's make some auto chitin monument and uh, what else do I need? A temple. That sounds excellent. And as soon as we're ready, I can just uh, I can hand this over to our uh, resident AI. As soon as we're done with this conflict, and then that's it. Oh, we have a new uh, mod. Oh yeah, I was going into supremacy. So uh, let's see here. I think we're gonna do seed planet. War demand decreased by 25% because I think we're going to be doing a lot of that, Pat. Are you right? Oh, that sounds about right. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. I didn't actually read what that said. Fuck. Fucking GG, Mike. Fuck. GG! Uh, I, wish, I wish I could go back to it. Yeah, I actually have that problem a lot where I think it's just a generic message and then yeah. I don't notice what it does. And then I, I'm actually mad at myself. Oh my god, your border extrusion! Why, what happened to it? Oh, did I take over board planets now? Yes! Yes, you did! Oh, god damn. Pat's gonna be mad. Don't worry, don't worry. You'll get, like, fucking... Uh, you can have the fucking Grokneck uh, Empire or whatever the fuck. Or do you want? Or do you want the fucking the? Uh, what are these guys? I guess the Sons of Korhal or something. Fucking. I don't even know who you're talking about. It's because you never played good games in your life. I thought you were literally just naming all people in this game, and I don't know who the fucking Sons of Gorhal are. <laughs> sons of Gorhal. <laughs> all right, they, dude, that's totally that's totally gonna be a new race for me to. Oh right. god, damn it! All right, uh, what's this planet? Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna resettle another guy onto here. Let's go take it from like energy, because I've taken it from too many other places. Okay, resettle that. Where's the last planet that we have here? Sorry, I have to do this because my uh so right now I'm over my core limit, which you can see here, Empire Influence gain and en Empire Energy gain. Both penalized, which is really bad. Uh but it looks like uh Yeah, let me just finish this up then real quick. Uh let's bring someone over here. Energy right here, real soil pops. And I think I'm just gonna go and say Auto Chitin Monument. And I also need the uh, temple. We just make these just because the um, the AI will not do that. So we have to do it for the AI and then hand it over to him, essentially. And, like, I don't care what he does with it. He can do whatever he wants after that. 
All right. And then we say, I'm not sure if I actually want to give him three more planets, though, because I think he'll have more planets than me, but we'll see how that goes. I think that there's a penalty if you do that. But hey, you know what? It's time to learn. Mike, you gotta live and let die. And that's it. So now we're back to four out of five uh, planets, and the sector is huge now. But we're, we're appropriately purging everything as we want to be, so... Uh, anyways, guys, that's all the time we got for today. I'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye.